ओम शांति गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग मुरली Good morning. Today, Baba is uh, giving us this beautiful murli, very much in line of Sunday murli, which is your yesterday murli. It is our today morning murli, where Baba was talking about. Uh, Uh, total offering arpan total samarpan so baba was talking about when we offer it to baba so baba will take care of her, take care of it and then you can be a carefree emperor so baba says transform mine into yours and become a double crowned carefree emperor transform mera into tera and you will become a double crown carefree emperor and if you remember yesterday baba said if you say tera so then you learn how to tairna to swim swim across so on the same lines baba is talking today how can you become bay fikar badsha by offering everything to baba today the whole gathering is visible as that of carefree emperors no worries no concerns because you have given all your worries to baba and have taken spiritual intoxication ruhani nasha from morning till night all of you are carefree emperors because you have received self sovereignty so you you check yourself because the sign of a carefree emperor is that his forehead sparkles with light and are carefree emperors you are double crowned only those who are double crowned are carefree emperors so do all of you experience yourself to be carefree and emperors if you do not have a double crown that is if you are not carefree then what have you placed on your head a basket of rubbish so what do you prefer so today baba da is pleased to see every child as a double crowned carefree emperor so all of you who are baba da da's companions do all of you experience yourself to be like that or is it that you sometimes experience it and other times you do not in the whole cycle only you children receive this double crown many becomes kings many becomes kings from the corporate but it is only you who receive the double crown so Baba Da has come to meet such children who are carefree emperors. Have you given all your worries, and does some worry still remain? Give your worries. You know how to give your worries to Baba, don't you? The method to become carefree is very simple. Simply transform Mera into Thera, mine. into yours it is so easy mera and thera there is a difference of just one letter th and m so have all of you given your worries have you transformed mine into yours those who feel that you are carefree emperors raise your hands raise your hands high yes raise your hands baba will see them then you do not then you do not sometimes change yours into mine do you if even now a little worry still remains then give it 
give it away and take spiritual intoxication because day by day the fears in the world is going to increase. However, you children of Baba, of the Father, will become carefree emperors and remove the worries of others too. The easy way to do this is from Amrutvela till the night, follow Father Brahma. Because while even being in the corporeal body, Father Brahma remained a carefree emperor while fulfilling every responsibility. Even if many children did not see Father Brahma in the corporeal form, yet his activities and his practical life was was as you saw in the corporeal form. While having such a huge responsibility, he remained a carefree emperor. While until the end, you saw the sign of his being carefree from his face, even on the last day, without taking any support, he conducted the last class. He stayed healthy and wealthy in his intoxication. So, have all of you also become carefree emperors, even though they may be karmic accounts of the body. The stage is that of constantly carefree emperor. Today, Bhaptada wants to see every child equal to Brahma. So check. No matter what the condition of your body is, your mind should always be a carefree emperor. So note you know, down in the morning, when you wake up, check, are there any worries in the subconscious? Check, every now and again. So, you will transform Mera into Thera, mine into yours. Because throughout the whole cycle, apart from the children, no one else has become a double crowned carefree emperor. You constantly have a double crown in your images. Many became kings in the Copper Age, but no one became double crown or a king who had self-sovereignty. So constantly remember your title of today. And what is the title? Be Fikar Badsha, a carefree emperor. Today, also, many children have come. Bhagavad has especially come to meet all the children. Now you will not complain, will you? Because Baba has so much love for the children. He cannot stay without the children. So keep this title in your awareness from Amritvela. Who am I? I am a Befikar Bacha, a carefree emperor. Bacha? Baba celebrating a meeting with all the children who came. Baba is happy and the children are also happy. However, never forget this blessing of yours. No matter how you are, the body knows its karmic accounts. But the mind is constantly a Befikar Bacha, a carefree emperor. No matter what type of test paper it is, the papers come Papers make you even more experienced and enable you to move forward. So, do not be afraid. Never be afraid of any paper. Achha, today it is the turn of Gujarat song to serve. Baba loves those from Gujarat. Baba loves all the zones, but today it is their turn. Those from Gujarat stand up. Wave your hands. Very good. Baba heard all the news of what efforts you are all making. Children have shown a very good chart. Baba wants every child to be a master Brahma constantly, same as Father Brahma. Every zone comes to their heart's content. Bhavdada is also pleased. It is only now at the confluence age that Bhavdada finds such children. You will, be <coughs> you will be companions in the golden age too. But now you meet with that recognition here. 
the recognition will change. So, to the children from everywhere, although Gujarat is in front as the instruments, children from abroad are also in front of Bhaktara. And there are also the children from village, small villages. Bhaktara says to each and every child, both the fathers are saying, Shri Baba and Brahma Baba are saying, constantly continue to move forward and enable others to move forward. Continue to bring your kingdom closer. Children from everywhere are in front of Aptara. In the corporeal form, it is you. But in Baba's heart, Baba's heart are merged all children from this land and from abroad, from the villages. Achha? Two wings have come, medical and security. Those from the medical wing now make such preparation and also inspire them so that everyone becomes a carefree emperor. As Bab Dada has said, it, if there is no worry, there is then no illness. So, make such plans that while sitting here, everyone remains happy. They shouldn't lose their happiness. Invent such medicine that if someone is little unhappy, either physically or in their mind, then as soon as they remember that medicine, they become happy. What is that medicine? Mera Baba, my Baba. So let there be my Baba in everyone's mind and this will be the medicine. Achha? You are doing very good service. Continue to do that. Victory is definitely with you. The security wing, those from the security wing are making efforts and working very hard. But while making such effort, invent such an easy and successful mantra, that is medicine, that their minds become happy. Day by day, sorrow is going to increase and there will be a fever, but they should be able to make themselves unshakable in the midst of any upheaval. Invite something so easy, sorry, invent something so easy that when any such situation comes in front of them, their minds become happy and they do not feel the illness of the body. Invent such a cure for security in short. Just a Brahmin, just as Brahmins become happy when they read the blessing. In the same way, invent some facilities for their salvation that by studying it, they are transformed. <laughs> invent some small means for security because the times are going to become even more de delicate. This would be useful at such a time. You are ever ready, are you not? <coughs> no matter what times come or when they come, all of you, Brahmakumars and Kumaris, remain constantly happy at every moment. Is it possible that the happiness of Brahmakumaris and Kumari Kumars will not disappear. If it is possible, then raise your hands. Achha. Bab Dada saw everyone's hand. Raise your hand. That time will continue to come and Bab Dada will see the results. All of you have raised your hand and so remain carefree emperors at that time too. Be carefree and an emperor too. <coughs> Trivial things and major things are definitely going to come. But for the Brahmakumars and Kumaris, nothing is a big deal. You have seen it every cycle. You have passed through it every cycle. Become experienced and you will pass through that now. Now also and as though it is a game. You do have such courage, do you not? 
Do you have courage? Raise your hands. Those at the back, raise your hands. Double fondness. Do you, double fondness, remember your title? Who are you, double, double effort makers? Bob Dada has seen that you have good courage. The majority of you also pass on time. Bob Dada receives the news of you instruments. Instrument Daddy also relates everything. She continues. Give empower, give empowerment to everyone. Achha? You should constantly remember one thing. We definitely have to be victorious. No matter what the circumstances may be, our name is victorious. Victory is the support of our life. Victory is already guaranteed. Achha? Bab Dada receives the news that the results of service abroad is also good. And Bab Dada is, also, is pleased. Achha? Today, Baba is celebrating a meeting with all the children from everywhere. There is just Baba. Baba and Baba in everyone's heart. Even the father is experiencing this. But the body knows about its karmic accounts. All of you and Bab Dada have seen that Everyone remembers Bab Dada a lot more. When will we meet? When will we meet? When will we meet? Because of this, you forget less. However, the time of confluence is, is for meeting. And so we shall continue to meet. Baba continues to receive love and remembrance of all the children from everywhere. To the extent that children remember Baba, Baba too remembers the children a hundred times more. Just as children continue to say, Va, Baba, Va. In the same way, Baba says to the children in all directions, Va, Bache, Va. Baba continues to give love and remembrance through his thoughts. Achha? Achha? In the future, whatever is in the drama will continue to take place. Moini Didi has sent lots and lots of remembrance. She is having good remembrance and also settling her accounts. Bhavdada also continues to give power. Her remembrance reaches Baba. To Dadi Janki, Dadi embraces Bhavdada. To embrace one means to embrace everyone. Bab Dada will continue to meet. The confluence age is the age for the meeting of Baba and the children. This age is for that and so we shall continue to meet. It whereby gave Bab Baba's remembrance of some brothers and sisters, multi-million fold love and remembrance to all those who send their remembrance. Rukmani Dadi has also sent lots of love and remembrance. Also gave her multi-million for love and remembrance. In the last three to four days, some brothers and sisters have had an accident. Give each and every one who had ups and downs, being involved, love and remembrance. But in future, someone should personally explain to the driver separately. They rush a bit. And they should not rush. They think that they will reach there first and they would reach there first. But what would be the result of that? Therefore, you should give a signal, especially to the driver. Okay? In connection with God of Gita, what you have then for the non-violence is good. You will also... You will have many companions in this. In any case, many do not believe in the violence. So bring those people close to God and Gita with automatically, bring those people close and God and God of the Gita will automatically then be proved. Bring those 
who believe in non-violence close to close and god of gita will automatically then be proved cha om shanti so beautiful murli see baba is giving so much consolation baba is giving so much love baba is making us care free emperors be fikar badsha right and baba says just wear this double crown a crown of light and crown of being carefree and what else did baba say by following baba by being carefree you will stay healthy and wealthy like father brahma and by following father brahma like a carefree emperor Shiv Baba Karan Karavan Har is the one, and you hold this instrument consciousness as a trustee. You become carefree, and you also become healthy and wealthy. Right? And Baba says, "Don't even have worries, even in your subconscious mind, even when you are sleeping. Be fikar." and baba just gave a warning also there will be karmic account that needs to be settled there will be test papers to check your faith there will be papers that will help you to check how carefree are you how surrendered are you to baba and the baba was talking to both the wings medical wing and security wing baba wants us to invent one technique to keep everyone happy and that one medicine is mera baba give everyone this medicine of mera baba that makes every one happy from their mind and for security wing also baba gave us a homework to invent such a cure like when we read the blessings it makes us uh, feel good in the same way baba wants the security wing also to create such mantra for double foreigners double effort makers and always victorious victory is guaranteed don't rush and now there is a huge programs that are happening to reveal god of gita so baba says bring them those who believe in non violence closer so then god of gita will be revealed automatically Okay. Let's meditate, and then we can share. So short and powerful, Murli. As you wake up to this beautiful morning. a powerful morning of sangam yoga each breath feel the freshness feel the lightness in your body peaceful mind feel the lightness in your mind 
Phantom. Feel the presence of Baba in your heart. Have this intoxication. You are loved by God Himself. <clears throat> Be fickle, Bacha. No worries, no concerns. Deeply absorbed in Baba's love. Feel the double light, double crown stage that ignited lightness inside and being carefree and borrowed. <clears throat> Mera Baba. Let Baba take care of all your concerns and worries. Oh, 
Shannon. Shannon. Welcome back. So, what did you enjoy from today's uh, modeling? Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Uh, I like, uh, my Baba says that to become carefree is to simply transform mine into yours. And by following uh, Baba, you become very healthy. Om Shanti. Mm. And, healthy. He also that, and, he, and my Baba has also said that don't have worries in your subconscious mind. Mm. Not even in your subconscious mind. Mm. So how not to worry? Because Baba is not physical, you have to deal with the physical. How not to have worry? By letting go everything, by uh, just let go everything and uh, Give all your worries to Baba. Mm. Yeah. Om Shanti. Uh, Baba said that if you want to be a carefree emperor, first of all, you have to turn mine into yours. When we uh, turn mine into yours, means to given to the surrender to the Baba, all and everything, we will become the carefree. And the second thing Baba said, you have to follow the Brahma Baba in corporeal form as the Brahma Baba has the, had all the responsibility and in the la, uh, till the last day he, he still remained carefree emperor in his last class without getting any support and from his uh, spiritual intoxication he did the last class and he he still remained the whole life as a carefree emperor in the stage of Karan Karavan Har and Om Shanti. Good, good. So carefree emperor, especially when you follow Father Brahma. <laughs> we have to act, but not to worry. So worrying is an emotional part. Acting is a tangible part. Most of the time, in the name of worry, we don't act or we end up confused and then we, we may mess up the whole thing. So that is where Baba is telling, don't worry, do what is the right thing. And how do you know what is the right thing? Just put yourself in Brahm Baba's shoes. What will Baba have done in this situation? and then act on that, yeah. Without any hesitations, do your responsibility, Baba will take care from that. Thank you, anyone else? Madhu, Sonia, Vinod, from Shanti, brother. From Shanti, everyone. Uh, Murli has been great. My submission, my question here is that when you have to work under a boss, he is non And sometimes when you apprehend by the directions given by him, you have to follow. Baba has made us obedient, so, and we do follow. We know to follow the world's culture of following the boss. And then sometimes you understand that the directions given by your boss is probably not correct, and it might lead to some trouble in future. So in that situation, I was trying to wonder how how do I remain carefree? If I think probably that yes, I have. If there's somebody to give the direction, yes, I'm following it. But this is Kalviyuk. Sometimes they forget that they have given such orders. And ultimately, you become responsible for your job, particularly when you're singly handling a department. 
in that case how how do i remain careful was what i was wondering so in case you guys have any experiences in that regard and how have you come victorious probably you might inspire me thank you yeah see one thing that baba has given us is uh, baba has given us a bigger perspective the minute you become soul conscious minute you are aware of uh, the whole drama is just the drama nothing is the constant things can change any time every time it keeps changing anyhow right so when you hold this uh, true bhavana that i am a soul working with other souls but there are some things to be done so that is a big perspective that you hold right and especially i mean what i'm hearing is uh, you are you are in a role where you have to manage people and manage a bigger task and the uh, executives will always tell it get it done right yeah. by hook or crook and uh, so this is where the middle management has to work gracefully mm. to to put out this uh uh image that we are just the trustees we are just following through the orders right but at the same time as a manager putting out the big picture like oh we need to get these things done right so you open it up with the intention of getting things done and at the same time you pass on to be a trustee like like power like your boss is yes. getting asking us to get it done so in a way you put yourself in a place as a trustee so that others get that if anything goes wrong they don't get off <laughs> get back yeah. to you <laughs> right you have yeah. to be very graceful right so having said that right yes when we hold right like especially when baba says that drama will put us in lot of this dilemmas where you don't know should i do should i not do it does not feel right but i'm put in a place where i have to make a decision that is where first there's drama but you put out you take every opportunity that you get to exercise soul consciousness to engage with others as a as as our brotherly souls right and that yes. is what they are going to take away with right and things okay. will turn out good or bad doesn't matter but this is an opportunity okay. for you to engage with others so they see your right. bhavana they see how you are right. putting yourself and that that is what the whole drama is all about actually bringing us closer to other souls and we and baba baba puts baba and drama puts us in that situation so that you bring baba into that gathering <laughs> so so that 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 is how i take every opportunity i mean i i have a role where i have to Uh, i am put in a situation where uh, i have to represent leadership tough decisions have to be made and you will become a face of that tough decision so you bring baba into the into the picture and then be nimit don't take the ownership of uh, um like uh, oh, i am responsible for making things happen don't even hold that uh, feeling i'm just a medium <laughs> try to hold that yes. graceful presence that itself will create a lot of uh, uh bring them closer to baba yes yes brother it it indeed helps so i have noted it down i need to play the role of a trustee i should be a nimit and bring baba into picture and then be graceful and not worry about the consequence but whatever is there in my wisdom and knowledge stay out what is right in front of them and then come to a conclusion and follow what is right so, yeah. thank you thank you so much brother yeah. and then try to remember that things will happen will be happen more more uh, surprises will start happening but there is a reason why everything is happening and one reason that we know of sure it is for service what is service 
I yeah. being soul conscious and bringing Baba into the gathering. That is the service. That is the essence of any scene that is happening. It is an opportunity to display how soul conscious we are, to display how we can see the big picture, even though it may look like a dead end, right? We can see the big picture and also bring Baba into the gathering. That is the that is the message of every scene that drama brings into our life. Yeah. Thank you, yes. brother. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone else have any thoughts for Vinod by Taki Ben? Oh, Chanti. Uh, yes, Vinod by. I'd also tried uh, the. Okay, you can just. Uh, I mean, it's my opinion. Like as sisters. Uh, in yesterday's uh, the sister had said that the soul only understands the word of uh, love, uh, gentleness, kindness, innocence. So um, uh, we just have to visualize that uh, uh, suppose it's your boy, boss, he said, you should say that uh, the soul is very innocent and you must keep him, we, we need to keep on appreciating that soul and that really helps I feel. When we visualize that the, that uh, the other soul is too good, so very friendly, and uh, he's being, uh, I mean, he's being very friendly with me. So I feel that really works sometimes. Right, sister. Thank you. Thank you so much. Om Shanti. Babdada also said, uh, the time will be day by day. Fear is going to be increased. And time is going to be more delicate in coming days or years. And that uh, Babdada said, um, you have to settle your karmic account also. So understand it's my karmic account. And what Baba said, the paper makes you even more experienced and enable you to move forward. Never be afraid of any paper. So if something, uh, some upheaval is come, okay, come in our life, just understand it as a exam or a paper. And it will help you to move forward and you will have a, an experience of it. Om Shanti. Yeah, that's right. Brother, thank you. And there is another technique as uh, one of the brother was sharing. So there is every every situation that is coming up, it is asking us to exercise one of the eight powers. So which power is more relevant here? Is it something I need to understand a little deeper or is it a power? Is it, you know, sometimes it feels uh, that we, we might be too, too much, too invested into that project or something like that, that also will create some challenges. So understanding like what is my uh, my take on this project? Am I too attached to it? So let me just uh, detach from it. It's power to let go. Or if I am just, um, uh, so the power to discern will help me to figure out like what is that I need to do? Right? So again, it goes back to soul consciousness will help us to see which power to exercise in what situation, especially nuances and subtleties will start coming into picture when we are put into drama in the crossroads. Raki Ben? Yeah, Om Shanti, Harshabai. So any thoughts, suggestions, points? This was an interesting conversation when Vinod Bhai came up with, and I was just thinking that you know, things, when it doesn't go our way, what is for us to learn from it, rather than putting across a thought as to why it has come to me. Um, and as you rightly said, you know, what I was pondering on are situations when you know people are speaking behind your back, you're aware of it, but you have no access to do that because you don't have any proof to speak about it um, and what I was getting here for myself is just bring Baba in between and say whatever is there in my heart to Baba and just surrender so yes. instead of getting angry or agitated it's 
whether to surrender, have peace and faith. That everything is come for a reason. And That's same true. to that process. Yeah. And especially here in the West, there is a saying that no advertisement is bad advertisement. <laughs> if people are uh, talking behind my back, they are talking about me. So in other words, they are bringing attention to me. <laughs> So, especially when we are soul conscious and we, we handle the things very well, it brings attention of more people to the goodness of you. Whatever they might have heard negative about you doesn't matter, but at least whatever that thing ha had done good to you, good for Baba, by bringing attention to you so that you demonstrate. <laughs> you know? So, every advertisement is a good advertisement. <laughs> yeah, thank you. In the interest of thank time, you. Yeah, go ahead. No, I can see carefree emperors in the sabha. What I can say, <laughs> actually, a very lovely gathering. So many lovely experiences and suggestions. Um, I, I'm, I'm grateful to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Yeah, Raki Ben, you're saying so. Just telling in the interest of time, we can have a short meditation before we close the session. Sure. Yeah. And this meditation is very much in connection with the Sunday's uh, Murli. Purity is a means to become careful and brave. Become so still inside. Make your body very still. Free your mind of any thoughts. Feel that pure stillness inside. And gracefully pull your heart out of this world of emotions. Gracefully pull yourself out of this earthly vibrations. Step into the stillness of Parangam. Take your mind out of this earth. Take your heart out of this earthly worries. Feel a pure heart. No traces of any limited emotions. Pure lightness.
very stable. And there is this healing peace, far and wide. You're soaking in the fragrant love of Baba, pure love. healing and restoring the soul. Make yourself very comfortable. in your pure, loving stillness. Pure, loving stillness. Very carefree. Deeply lost in love. Merged in Baba's heart. Make it natural. Just being yourself. Nothing more. You're just being yourself. Your pure, powerful self. Everything else is transient, comes and goes. Totally carefree. What matters is, are you in touch with your true presence? Are you in touch with Baba? Are you absorbed in Baba's love? Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. 
Om Shanti. Thank you, Harshabai. Thank you, family. Have a wonderful day, and we shall meet tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you.